How to install Windows on a Mac with VirtualBox Step 1. Download VirtualBox for Mac. Simply go to Google, type in VirtualBox and click on the first link that appears. In the website, go to Download and select the OS X Intel Max version. Save it, preferably to the desktop so you can find it easily. It's about 70 megabytes, so it should take a little while to download. Step 2. Install VirtualBox. If you've saved it to the desktop, it's the file that ends with DMG. Simply make package mpkg and follow the prompts. Once you've installed it, we're going to create a virtual Windows machine. This is the VirtualBox home screen. Click on New to create a new machine. It's the blue button. Just follow the prompts, really. Give your machine a name. And select your Windows version. In my case, it's Windows XP. I give it about a thousand megabytes of RAM, but it can it should be comfortable with uh, with less than that. Then create a new hard disk and tick the box, boot hard disk, and choose dynamically expanding storage. Leave it at the default size. And there you go, you've created a new machine. Now insert your Windows CD or DVD and mount the drive. To do so, we go to Storage, and select the CD, and in CD DVD device, look for Host Drive. Now is a good time to insert your Windows disk if you haven't done so already. You're ready to install Windows. Simply start the machine and what you'll get is this, a VirtualBox screen and then the Windows installation. Choose the quick NTFS format. About half an hour later you'll have Windows. To make it really look like Windows go into full screen mode and on your screen will be something that looks exactly like Windows because actually it is. To exit full screen mode, just go to the bottom of the screen. And there you have it. So for more information, go to www.clockworkpc.com.au or rationale.ozthink.com.